Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. If you're just now finding this channel and this is your first video that you've ever seen because you looked up something for Lumber Tycoon 2, I can tell you this is probably not the one that you want to start with, but don't go anywhere. All right, like, comment, subscribe, notification bell. I do tons of Lumber Tycoon 2. I've been known to do like Lumber for the last five years. So if there's any questions you have about Lumber Tycoon 2, ask them in the comments down below. I will try to answer anything that I can uh, and dispel any myths. Uh, I will also direct you over to the um, Lumber Tycoon 2 Wikia page or uh, the fandom page as it's now known. Um, those guys over there, I've known them for a long time. Love them, they're awesome, amazing. They've helped me out so much. And I have uh, helped them out as well, as far as like videos and, and answers and questions all over the place. I respect them very much. So without further ado, I am working on the uh, door bridge today. I don't know where I left off. I don't know what all I've got up there, but let's get to go up the to the top and see where we're at. Um, for those of you that don't know, I am building a door bridge. It's by using a glitch technique inside the doors to attach them to each other so you can lower them and raise them. I am going to take this and drive it all the way out to the um, to the, the Palm, Palm Islands. Uh, I've already got a walking bridge and I've got quite a few other little bridges. I've got a I've got a gold bridge that will walk straight over there so you can drive into there. You could have done it from this base and just gone straight across, but I mean, that was easier. <laughs> it was shorter distance. Um, what other bridges do I have? Oh, I've got a I've got a yellow bridge. Starting on that plot, you walk across and you can actually walk down onto the the platform to go get yellow wood, if you need it. Um, something that we've been talking about and thinking about is ice wood, but I don't know that there's a way to get to ice wood with a bridge. Uh, I mean, I bet you could get close, but. It's just as easy to, to glitch through the, the rocks that fall down to get over there. Uh, and I could probably show you that. Oh my goodness, I think I just thought of something. Hold up, yo. Can you drive down to the top of the... Oh, you can! Well, maybe I won't work on the, the bridge today. Maybe I'm going to go on an adventure. Yay, adventure time! Adventure time, go ahead and bring your friends. Something, something distant lands. Uh, just so you know, this section right here, uh, the straight section, all the way up until this point right here is just to get to the ocean. So, I mean, we haven't even started crossing the ocean yet. I should probably get to building. <laughs> Okay, um, I also built this. I took all the wood from down here, all the little platforms that we used to have, and I put them all up here. So I have a, a place to aim so I can um, I can get my wood, uh, my ladders, and my doors up here. I'm going to have to open this one, this one. Hello, I just got a, a thing, a message. We'll move this one. B. There we go. So now that one's set up to uh, place doors on that side. So, anyhow, there we go. Um, the other thing is, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, um, the main point of my videos is not to do tutorials or it's it's more for your mental health. And it's me talking about my experiences and, and my ADHD mind uh, video games. Comparisons, stuff like that. I don't, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, I, I'm an advocate for video games because I was very much discriminated against for being an adult who plays Roblox. And you're probably going to judge the same thing. You would probably be like, "Oh my gosh, what's this 38 year old man doing on the internet?" Blah blah blah. Don't care. I've been doing this for over five years. I've been playing video games ever since I was three years old. My first video game was uh, the Coleco Vision Atari. Um, and I'd play stuff like Pitfall and uh, slot cars, stuff like that. <sighs> so, say what you will, I do not have to prove myself to anyone. And that's the way you should be. Because if you like playing a video game, or if you like doing something, go and do it. You know? And if people judge you for it, that's on them. That's their fault for not knowing. Uh, what is that? It's just a whole bunch of shrapnel wood. 
Uh, I don't think anybody has noticed who I am, or may maybe they just don't know who I am. So that's good. Uh, I'll probably have some people show up b later and be like, Code! Oh my god, I can't believe I'm getting your game! That's fine. It's fine. Uh, also, special announcement. I have all my plans done, ready for uh, PAX East. I will be going to Boston, Massachusetts to attend the... Ooh, hello! Somebody's got uh, firewood. Lava wood. Uh, to attend the gaming conference that's out there. So, if you happen to be in the Boston, Massachusetts area, I will be out that direction uh, the 26th through the 1st. So if you don't catch me by the 1st, then then you're not going to catch me. Hi, guys! Hello, everyone! Look at all these guys. Oh, my goodness. They are all wearing the same skin. I would say they're friends, and they're probably playing on Xbox. <laughs> Hi everyone! Wow. Okay, I'm gonna freak him out. Wee. <clears throat> Something I, I just saw a second ago. Oh no, they lost a piece over here. They lost a couple. Ooh, goodness. If you're if you're gonna go and collect the firewood, be sure to like drop it down. Don't try and drive it back down this direction. You will get smashed by boulders and all kinds of bad stuff. Also, uh, yes, it looks kind of cool that I, I did all this, but I'm, you know, I've had a lot of practice. I'll say, I've just had a lot of practice. Okay, what I want to try and do, I want to try, and jump this little section right here, get over there, and then take this path down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Wish me luck. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Go! 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 No! Stop! 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 Oh, I missed it. Well, maybe. Maybe. Hold up. Alright, let's get, uh, get out the things. Let's do a... Rotate. Boom. Alright. Hold on. Can I get around this little corner right here? Maybe? Maybe? Uh-oh. Turn, 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 turn. Come on. There you go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get around that little corner. Oh! No, I'm not in the area that I need to be. I need to be up on this one. Darn it. Okay. I'm not going to be able to turn into that without going... Oh, actually. Hold up. Can I turn into that and get on top of the rock? That is a question of ages. Let's see here. Rotate. Ooh, no. Does not like me doing that, does it? All right, I'll try it again. No, it's like no, sir. Here, you guys, go ahead and come down. I'm not, I'm not gonna, not gonna mess with you. You go ahead. I've got a lot of lag. Oof. Good luck. Good luck, bros. You know, I've got 19 million on me. How how much? What are they doing here? Let's it let's it be. Uh, I'm going to send them all some money. So who who are these guys? Uh, looks like Noe. You know what? Let's just let's just give a million to everyone. Uh, here's Nose. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go, buddy. There's, there's a million for you. Uh, I gotta wait a little bit until I can do the next one. Transfer to nose is uh, is good. Who else do we have? Uh, nose looks like that. And then Dylan the Warrior. And then Clock Raven. So Dylan the Warrior's next, then Clock Raven. Okay. We'll give them give him each a million. Three mil. That's that's a decent amount. Is it, is it five minutes or is it like a full minute or something like that? Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to load. I don't want to load. Send money. Clock Raven. If I hit transfer, it's going to mess up. So um, if you hit transfer the first time, just hit close. Open it back up. Send money. Clock Raven. One mil. Transfer. There we go. Please wait to make more money transfers. Okay, fine. 
I shall wait. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, get out of my way. By the way, I would recommend trying to travel during the daytime because at night, oh, the red filter, oh, gets a lot worse and it's a lot harder to see. For those uh, who are developers out there, that is called fog effect. I think. I think that's the fog. And basically there's a controller inside there that says, hey, if it's a certain time of day, add these filters. Oh, am I going to make it? I'm going to make it. Oh, gosh. Stop, stop, stop. I made it. I made it. I made it. Woo. Okay. So now I should be able to go up here to this side. For those of you who are like freaking out, like, oh my god, how is he keeping his truck up? There's a there's a glitch with the blueprints that you can do to flip your truck. So you don't have to worry about losing it anymore. Uh, just take a tiny floor, uh, rotate yourself so you're about like that, and then hit the turn button so you're upside down. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You probably should rotate two more times. Oh, skills. Skills! Okay, please tell me I can get on top of him. Please, okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Nice. Rotate, uh, was it a turn? Oh, I did it again, upside down. And then this is the little break in between the snow biome and the, the main area. Oh my gosh, I'm just all over the place, aren't I? Here we go. But this right here, wee! Good slide, good slide. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> now, right in here, this cave, this is where the uh, the boulders spawn. And the boulders come out of this little area. In fact, there used to be a bug where all the boulders would spawn at one time in right direction, like right here in the middle of the thing. It was actually kind of cool to come up here and see because they'd all just be like meshed together. It'd look like one big boulder. But these boulders are all... Um, I wonder if you could catch the boulder while it's rotating. What in the world? Somebody has blown up these rocks. <gasps> Which means if we wait long enough, we should see the boulders coming down. I wonder if I can rotate a boulder. <gasps> if I could rotate a boulder and get it to stick... Like right here. I wonder if it would stop the rest of the boulders. Oh, I'm curious now. I am so curious. Maybe I should pause it for this little time. <gasps> here they come. Here they come. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Rotate. 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 Oh, I stopped it. I stopped it. Wait, 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 wait. Rotate. 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 Wait, wait. Stop. Stop. Hold on. Get the car in the way. Get the car in the way. Stop. Rotate. 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 Come on. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Oh no! <laughs> I'm stacking them. Stacking them upright. Wait, am I actually building them? <laughs> That's awesome. Rotate, 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 rotate. Stop, stop, turn, turn, turn. Oh, I can't, I can't fully stop it. Rotate, rotate. Oh, they're heavy, they're heavy. Oh no! Now I'm part of it. <laughs> oh, that was kind of fun. Let's see. Can I rotate these as soon as they land? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's still it's still a physical object, so. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. What am I rotating? I don't even know anymore. Oh no. Uh, okay, these glitches are awesome. Okay, um, let's hit B. I need to go to menu and send some money. Who was the next one? Clock Raven? Alright, can't transfer, so send money to Clock Raven. Transfer. Transfer pending. Oh, there we go. So it's now good. Uh, let's go back to three. Do I, I've got a rock on top of me. Can I move the rock at all? I wonder. Yep, 
If you if you glitch a rock, then they usually disappear. Whoa, where am I at? <gasps> I'm inside. Yes. <laughs> what in the world? Okay. So let's go ahead and rotate. We're going to turn this way. I am on top of the rock. That is crazy. Can can I do that again? Can I rotate myself into places I'm not supposed to be? Let's see here. Oh no, it does not like me going in there. That direction. Okay, fine. Fine! I shall head back to uh, my area. That was actually really cool. I've never seen that done before, so... Uh, dibs first. <laughs> um, being able to move the falling rocks. That's a that's a first. That's another one. That's a new one. Um, I think what happens is after the rocks fall, they become anchored, so you cannot move them anymore. But as they're in motion, you can you can absolutely move them. That's pretty cool. Okay, what were we doing? Let's see. Um, I've got to build some more ladders, and then we can go on and build some more doors. So the rest of the episode, we're at 16 minutes. The rest of this, I'm just going to be building uh, ladders, I think. And I've already rotated them like crazy, so who knows which is the right direction. One Direction. <laughs> this, it's the name of a band. It's a boy band. Whatever. Oh, that didn't work. It's not like Justin Bieber or something. Although, Justin Bieber, if you if you watch my um, episodes, cool. That's, that's pretty cool. I did not know that you were into Roblox, but, you know, I'm down with that. Huh. <laughs> lumber, 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 ooh, lum sorry. <laughs> uh, I ran out of coffee about an hour ago. I was playing Nino Kuni, uh, Wrath of the White Witch, and I finally got it to work. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I uh, play other games besides Lumber, just so uh, the 113,000 people know that. Um, if you've not watched some of my other games, I've played a series of Rain. I'm not even concentrating on where I'm placing these, am I? Um, and I've played... What else did I play? Um, I played Rain. Something else I played. Nino Kuni. Oh! Shadow of the Colossus! My favoriteest game. And there's a new version of it out on uh, PlayStation 4 called like the remastered version or something like that. Crazy graphics. I wish I had a PlayStation 4. I don't have a PlayStation 4 as I am very much poor. Um, but it is it is true See this guy right here. He doesn't even know because he can't see all this stuff if you're on the outside You cannot see blueprints on the inside um, Let's go ahead and send money to that last guy. We already did clock Raven uh, Dylan the warrior, so where's Dylan at? Dylan the warrior hit transfer. It's not gonna work Send money to Dylan the warrior who was the other one? Noise. Yeah, we already sent it to him. So, send it over. There we go. Dylan the Warrior. I sent you a mill. There we go. So, um, let's see. Dylan, no yes, and clockwork. Dylan. Let's see. Dylan, no yes, clockwork. I have sent you all one mil. Good luck. Why do I do that? Why do I send out random monies to people? Because um, I know what it was like to um, struggle with uh, the firewood and trying to make monies inside Lumber Tycoon 2. And if you are able to, Donate money to those less fortunate. Now, if there's somebody coming up to you going, give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money. Hi, buddy. Hi. Uh, sure. Uh, I have to, I have to wait just a sec because I just transferred. But yes. <laughs> 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Here, let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Put this in. He donated me uh, firewood, and I will set this up to maximum capacity. Let's see, Elberomach. Elberomach. I think that's how you say it. I could be wrong. There we go. And there it goes. Feel free to explore the base. Yeah, come on in. Boop. Let's take this over to the firewood. 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 Take this over to the firewood. Drop it in with the rest. Awesome. Do I have any firewood? <gasps> I don't have any firewood. What in the world? Let's see. I've got spook. This is icewood. You get over there. That's icewood. Uh, this is birch. You get over there. I think that was birch. Maybe this is palm. Yeah, that's not... That's not the same. That's end times. Hold up, hold up. Do I have birch? Ah, down here at the end. Boom. There we go. That's birch. Chop, chop. Little Twitter axe there. Uh, and looks like I need... Oh, there we go. Redwood. I just couldn't see it. That's all. Boom. And drop. <laughs> is our ice flowing? Our ice is flowing. It's going. Nobody's knowing. Look, look. Today. It's my little ice machine. And it's working real proper now. Look at this. It's it's working real good. Here, I'll move this real quick. And we should be able to drop these just like this. Uh oh, two, three, four, five. Uh-oh. There we go. Six. Okay. Now that those are out, I can put these back up here like that. There they go. And they're off. They're off to the races. Oh, I got one stuck up there at the top here. Can I grab that? There you go. Uh-oh. Sorry, buddy. Why are you stuck? There it goes. Yay. I love it. I love it so much. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? I was I was over here building some things. And look at this. Look, look, look. This is like every kind of wood. Except anything that was like recent, recent. Up here to the top. Gotta get moving. Gotta get moving. Let's go. Let's go. Chicken X. I can take that one and just toss it, right? Yeah, boy. There we go. Oop, toss. And there we go. So, um, I just wanted you to know that Whatever, you're, whatever you were going through today, it's okay. And there will be better days. Um, I know I might not be talking to everyone. Uh, you probably had like a good day or an average day. But if you had a bad day, I want to tell you, it's okay. And there is nothing wrong with having a bad day. People have bad days. And I don't want the, the idea of... Grown-ups being these perfect people that, like, you you look up to and we don't, like, we know everything. We don't. All right? And parents, I know the feeling of not knowing what to do 
like if you're if your kid's sick or if your kid's sad or if your kid's going through something emotionally that you may not have gone through I understand that um, me I was an only child growing up and I have two kids so I don't understand the sibling rivalry that goes on with my kids I, I can't understand that um, we made videos today um, of science experiments and crafts and it just it floors me as to like how they can be so sweet to each other one moment and then not even 10 minutes later just be horrible I mean like you don't talk to your friends like that so why would you talk to your family like that and it does happen sometimes I just don't understand it, but I also didn't have a, a brother or a sister growing up, so, I mean, and don't take that the wrong way, I do have a brother, but he he's, um, he's half brother on my dad's side, and he did not grow up with me, he grew up in a, a different house, different, different family, and he was from my, um, my parents' first, or not my parent, but my dad's first marriage. Which is why he's my half brother. I, I don't consider that anything else than he's still my brother, but it gives some explanation, some enlightenment as to my relationship with him. So, like I said, you will have better days. Treat each other nice, please, for my sake. And if you do have that sibling rivalry or whatever, it's whatever is causing the heartache. Just know that um, you are perfect the way that you are, okay? A lot of people are going to say, well, you'll grow up someday. You'll grow out of it. No, you're, you're fine just as you are right now. And I accept you for who you are without the expectation of thinking, oh, you're going to be better when you grow up. Or, oh, you're going to have um, this, this change as you get older. You might not. You might be a 38-year-old man who still plays Roblox on, on the internet and makes videos talking about your life. Who knows? Or woman. I mean, man or woman. You you choose. I mean, you don't choose. You pretty much had that chosen for you. But if you want to identify as something else, boy, girl, Apache, helicopter, whatever the case may be, that's your choice. Oh. So, oh, for those of you that are brand new to the channel, welcome. <laughs> I told you I get into uh, some deep conversations that aren't probably so much kid-friendly, but they're mentionable. And there's stuff that you can actually talk about. Um, just recently, I had somebody contact me, and they had lost a parent. And I know what that's like. I know what it's like to lose someone to death. And when, when a person passes away, no matter what the cause is, you know, it's, it's very human. It's a human thing that happens. I might be getting into this too late in the, in the recording, but death is natural. And it should not be like feared or scared because it's something that will happen to everyone. I know that's that that is a concept non-existence to the human brain is very very hard concept but it's something that can be mentioned and it's something that can be managed and it, it can be mentioned you can absolutely talk about it and it's okay <sighs> it's uh, I don't want people to get the idea that I'm going to be around forever. And I talk to my kids about this, so I think it's mentionable on my channel. It's absolutely talk aboutable. And we should be able to talk about it because it is a human thing mortality. I someday will eventually die. And that is okay. That is a natural thing. Don't be sad. Stop being sad. Don't cry. The fact that my channel is doing well, 
that I have 113,000 subscribers and I have you here watching is an amazing feeling. And I, I want this moment to be remembered and recognized for what it actually is. And I love you for being here for it. Thank you. I love the fact that I get to come here and make these videos and talk to you on this very different level that is not like any YouTube videos that you're watching right now. I mean, there's some some that kind of mention it and stuff like that, but gosh, to, to come in here and see all the names on the walls and to see all the people that have been affected by something that I said that there's someone somewhere, a child, a parent, a, a grandparent, a teacher that has been moved by something in my video. That is a very cool feeling. I don't want to take credit for like changing the world, but I do want to say thank you. Thank you for putting me up here to do this for you. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out like a good YouTuber at the end, but everybody knows that it's just a call to action that YouTube requests that I do at the end of my videos and says that it will help in some way. But that's really not the point. If you want to subscribe, go for it. If not, I'm cool with that too. You were here, you watched, and I love you for it. I accept you just the way that you are. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Outro. <laughs>